So now we will see how we can read something from a binary file. We have a function called afread, and this is the prototype. It's the same as the prototype of afright, and I called the first parameter the destination. And you will see why in a little bit. So the afread function reads from the file to the destination pointed to by this pointer, all right? So this is why I called it destination. We will take something from the file and store it over here, all right? And the rest is the same. Okay, so now let's try this. First of all, I will make an integer e equals to 3, and I want to put this integer inside my binary file. So I'm opening it in write mode for binary files, okay? So f write, I want to read the value inside my variable e. It is an integer, so size of integer. I want to write one thing inside my file that f is pointing to, all right? So after this over here, we will have three inside our binary file. So now to read it, we need another variable to store the value, or we can store it inside e, okay? But I'm going to make another variable. So int g, for example, initialize to zero. And now let me duplicate this. And over here, I will say the following. F read, I want to store what I read from the file inside the variable g. So I give the address of g. Let me put a semicolon. And I'm reading an integer, so size of integer, and I'm reading one thing from my file. So everything is the same, but simply f writes, takes from the integer and puts in the file, and f read takes from the file and puts in the integer, all right? So we are supposed to see three inside the G, right? Now, before we do anything, we are reading something from the file, and also we are writing something. So we should be able to read and write. So I'm going to use WP plus. So WB will overwrite all the existing content in the file. So we will re-add this three whenever this is executed. And the plus will make me able to read something. So I'll be able to read this three, right? So over here, print F person D and it is G. Build and run. And look, we have zero. So why is this? Whenever F write is executed, the FBI will move to the end of the file. FBI is at the end. So when F read is executed, F read will start reading from the end. So it will find nothing. So we will put in a G zero. So for example, if G is equal to five, let me build and run we still see zero over here, all right? In order to be able to read the three and put it inside the G, we should return the FBI to the beginning. So rewind F, all right? Now build and run and have a look. We have three, perfect. Now let's have a look at another example. Suppose E is an array of integers, or for example, let's make it an array of doubles. Now initialize it to the following values, 1.5, 2.6, for example, all right? So, the address of the thing that we want to get values from is E. Each one is a double, so size of a double. We want to read two things and store them inside F, all right? Then we are returning the FBI to the beginning. And now I will make another array to read the values from the file and put them in the array. So double, I call G. It has two elements and I will initialize them to zero, all right? So the address is G. I want to take something from the file and put them in this array. I want to read two things and each one is a double, all right? Now over here, let's print two doubles, percent LF, percent LF, G sub zero and G sub one, all right? So we should see these values. Build and run, perfect. We got what we want, all right? Now suppose that I only want to write one value and read one value, all right? Build and run. So we write 1.5 in the file and whenever we read it, we can see it over here. And the second element of G is not affected because we are not filling it with anything. So for example, if the elements of G are equal to one and two, we will still have two in the G of one. So build and run. And as you can see, we still have two, all right? Now we are able to read and write something into a binary file. Great job, I'm really proud of you. This is it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.